and welcome to the Morning Star series, Why Should I Invest With You? I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by Andreas Michalitsianos, manager of the JP Morgan Sterling Corporate Bond Fund. Hello, Andreas. Hello. So what sort of yield can investors expect from UK corporates at the moment? The current yields are around two and a half to three percent, depending on what part of the um, what maturity of the corporate bond. But that's the general vicinity that we're talking about. And of course, inflation is coming up, but the rest of yields, if you have a look at government bond yields, are still pretty low. So there is some attractive yield there. I think so. I think in this environment where growth overall in the global economy seems good, um, corporate bonds are actually a nice way to pick up an additional amount of yield above government bonds. And I think total returns. Um, should be well supportive in this if, in this growth environment for corporate bonds. Now you mentioned the growth environment. Now, how important is the point in the economic cycle when it comes to making investment decisions as, as a corporate bond manager? Yeah. So when you think about UK corporate bonds, it's actually a little bit of a misnomer because only half of the market is domestically orientated. It's actually a global universe of, of bonds that we're talking about. And so what really matters in this environment is how well the global economy is doing. And on that front, we can say it's doing pretty well. And so from my standpoint, when I look at buying corporate bonds in the UK, I'm actually, it gives me a lot of encouragement. And so I'm, I, I actually am buying more corporate bonds than I was you know, a, a year or two ago in the portfolio. Now, you mentioned that the global outlook is good and we have had forecasts which, which support that. However, there's a lot of uncertainty mm. at the moment. You've got um, President Trump in the White House. You've got sort of geopolitical rumblings ongoing in the Middle East. With a portfolio that, as you say, is maybe UK listed but globally looking, yeah. how do you take that uncertainty into consideration? So if I put myself in the shoes of an end investor, what I can say is that bonds overall, they actually love uncertainty. So unlike the stock market, which may falter in times of uncertainty, what you get in the corporate bond portfolio is the government component of, of yields, which are the baseline for yields, they will actually do well or, um, in an uncertain environment. And so when you convert, it's a, it's a strange mix of uncertainty and good growth. And it's actually the perfect environment from a corporate bond standpoint, because government rates aren't likely to rise very much. But the spread or the premium you earn for lending to a corporate is, is likely to contract, which is positive for price returns. And why do they like uncertainty? Is that because they're seen as a safe haven? And so in times of uncertainty, Certainty, demand goes up for safe havens? Well, absolutely. And I think if you even look um, at the inflation report and the latest MPC meeting, what you can see is that the, the, the Bank of England, they really don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so they're unlikely to raise rates any time in the near future. If they're unlikely to raise rates, that means that the government bond yield curve um, will not be moving up. And when it moves up, that's actually bad for your return. So what we can say is we think that the, the, in the UK, at least, the government bond market is probably fairly well supportive. And on top of that, UK corporates pay you an additional premium, which I think can be very attractive in this environment. Now, a bond manager sounding positive sounds great, but I have to ask, is, are you being too positive? You say uncertainty is good for corporates. Mm. You're saying that you know, global growth is good for corporates. Mm. Are there any headwinds on the horizon? Well, I think it's actually very interesting. We've just come through the French elections. And what you hear most investors saying is, for the first time in a long time, I don't have much to worry about. But there will always be there will always be elements of uncertainty out there. So from my standpoint, it's really um, the unknown that I think can, can, can take the market by surprise and whether that's geopolitical risk or some of the fallout in the Trump administration. But as I say, that's actually in a strange way, it's good for the government bond side. And what you really want with a corporate bond portfolio is good growth. So as long as growth holds up, the premium that the companies are paying you will continue to provide you with good return and the government side of the government interest rate side of, of your your risk is not likely to run away and hurt you very much so it is actually it's strangely the mixture of uncertainty and good growth is very good for corporate bond returns Andreas thank you very much thank you this is Emma wall for Morningstar thank you for watching